Hi, I'm Dr. Liao. I am a gastroenterologist at the National Taiwan University Hospital in Taiwan. I was asked by the editor of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to discuss a paper coming out in the October issue titled Balloon Dilation with Adequate Duration is Safer Than Sphincterotomy for Extracting Bile Duct Stones a systematic review and meta-analysis. Sphincterotomy is the current standard treatment for bile duct stones. An alternative to sphincterotomy is endoscopic papillary balloon dilation, or EPBD, which uses a balloon 6 to 10 mm in diameter to dilate the biliary sphincter. Previous studies have demonstrated that, compared to sphincterotomy, EPBD has a similar success rate but with a lower risk of bleeding, and also with a lower risk of stone recurrence in the long term. And it is also easier to perform in altered or difficult anatomy. However, EPBD is now rarely used in the US because some studies have reported a higher risk of pancreatitis compared with sphincterotomy. Therefore, the current consensus is to reserve EPBD for patients with bleeding diathesis and a short dilation duration of one minute or less is recommended to reduce pancreatitis. Notably, the risk of pancreatitis in previous EPBD studies varied widely from 0 to 15 percent, which has been attributed to different patient mix. However, a recent randomized control trial found that the risk of pancreatitis after EPBD for five minutes was comparable to sphincterotomy and was lower than EPBD for one minute. Contrary to current recommendation, these findings suggest that EPBD with adequate duration may have a lower overall complications rate than sphincterotomy as it reduces bleeding without increasing pancreatitis. In light of the new evidence, the aim of our study was to reevaluate the Relatively, the relative safety of EPBD versus sphincterotomy for treating bile duct stone with the consideration of EPBD duration. We searched the literature for randomized controlled trials evaluating sphincterotomy and EPBD for bile duct stones. We used Bayesian network meta-analysis to compare short duration EPBD, which is dilation for one minute or less, long EPBD and sphincterotomy, focusing on pancreatitis and overall complication. We also use metaregression to examine the relationship between EPBD duration and its complication rates. Our meta-analysis confirmed that, compared with sphincterotomy, short EPBD has a high risk of pancreatitis and overall complications whereas long EPBD has a comparable risk of pancreatitis, but a lower overall complication rate. Metaregression also demonstrated an inverse relation between EPBD duration and the complication rates. Notably, among 150,000 iterations of computer simulation, long EPBD was the safest treatment in overall complications in 90% of the simulations. The lower overall complication rate of long EPBD may be attributed to avoidance of bleeding from sphincter cutting in sphincterotomy. Given an estimated 150,000 sphincterotomies performed annually in the U.S. and a 2% risk of bleeding, using EPBD rather than sphincterotomy as the first-line treatment for bile duct stone might prevent 3,000 cases of bleeding annually and this benefit may become greater with the increasing use of antithrombotic agents. In conclusion, our meta-analysis reveals that EPBD with adequate duration, which is around 5 minutes, has lower complication rates than the current standard of sphincterotomy, and we think it may be used as the first-line treatment for bile duct stones.